Hello everyone, we're here with Michael from Dark Tranquility. Hello. Hi Michael. And we're here mainly to talk about Crossroot, the latest album by the band. So when is it coming out actually? 27th of May, so that's yeah. in, uh, yeah. It's Three really weeks. soon. Are you excited about it? Very, very. This is really, really exciting. Like, we, um, we didn't really know what to expect from it because we, it was written in such a different way that we, uh, when, when it was finished, we were like, this is cool, but, and we love it, but I have no idea what people will, you know, say about it. Like, mm -hmm. We played it to a couple of friends, you know, and they were like, oh, awesome, but then, you know, they, they would probably say that anyway. Um, and then, and then we released like the first song from it online and people really dug that, so that made it feel good. And then, uh, then I've actually seen some reviews, and so now we're kind of like, all right, yeah, it, it is okay, because it, and it's not just us, but so it's, it's kind of strange like that because you don't have that objectivity, you don't really, you, know, you don't listen to it properly, like the way you should listen to that one. Right. So, uh, what I did notice uh, is, as I was telling you, right from the start there's a change of groove, it's a groovy album if I may call that. May that be because of the new bass playing uh, lineup and, uh, and the such? I wouldn't say that, yeah. reason, but I think the reason is that uh, it was actually written all in the studio, like, and it was kind of demoed with like a drum machine, kind of more, or like programmed drums, just guitars and keyboards, like simple stuff, and that's that's how we constructed the songs, like how we made every single song was just in the studio, just kind of having bits and pieces of music that we've kind of amassed over the last two years or something. Uh, and then just like, this piece fits here, this is, this could work yeah. out, this is a cool opening, this is a cool thing. And then we kind of refined that and threw away the bad stuff, focus on the good, and, and just, you know, we worked really hard to kind of find the essence of, of what the album should mm -hmm. be, what the, what's the leading melody, how do we accentuate that, and how do we make that more special, you know? So everybody was kind of like striving towards this, the melodies in a way, like the drums are driving the melody as well, and vocals, yeah. even though, you know, without any melody are driving the melody that's in the keyboard or the guitar or whatever, and the same with the bass, so I think that's where it comes from, you know, at least for me. Yeah. All right, and well, there's the new logo, and the whole cover is quite different from what we are used to seeing on a Dark Tranquility cover. Was that something that, is there a meaning behind that, or you just wanted to change logo and, and that's it? I <laughs> definitely just wanted to change, like, it, 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 it looks cool. But, but it's, it's like, it's the 10th album, you yeah. know, this, something, and we, I guess we were kind of tired of ourselves in a little, you know, in mm -hmm. a way, like, we felt like we can't take this sound any further, like, the stuff that we did on, on character fiction and, and with a boy was like, how do we take that even further? It's like, we don't know how to, or we were scared to even try, you know? So, hey, let's, let's do a lateral move and do something different. And, and visually, uh, we had no idea what to do with it. So, and I talked to Nicholas about it, it's like, hey, do you have any ideas? And he was like, no way, I am so overworked. I'm in the studio for like six months. Yeah. I have no, no clue, like I, I don't, you know, have someone else do it. I'm not, I won't have any time or energy to do it. So I started looking around, like I had a few ideas, and, you know, like, but we didn't even have the album title yet. So, uh, so I looked around and I talked to a lot of really talented artists and stuff like that, and I got some really good suggestions, but then, um, when I realized, like, oh, I think I have a good title on my hands, like, uh, and I told Nicholas about Constructs, he was like, hey, yeah, fine, cool, let's go with this, you know. And then the following morning, I get this email from Nicholas going like, you know how I said that I didn't want to do the cover and I didn't have time? Well, I just couldn't sleep, but here it is. Yeah. And he did the whole thing, like, and he definitely wanted like a new logo, just mm -hmm. because he, you know, he's easily bored with anything, so he wants something new, which is perfect. And, and it kind of wants to change, and like, change him, line up, Tenth album, changing like the creation, like the writing of the album is mm -hmm. a different sound, a different guy who mixes it. Um, 
things, all those things kind of made made it made sense, you know, to kind of mark a new beginning or a, like a mm -hmm. something new for the band. Yeah. Sometimes you have to do that just to feel challenged. Yeah. Well, I have a, in a, an old Dark Tranquility T-shirt, and now the logo is totally different, so it's a memory. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and well, something you say about. Uh, bringing the moving the sound forward from character and fiction uh, there is something I wanted to ask you I asked uh, soil work a couple of months ago when the album came their album came out there was a time maybe when around when charter came out they seemed like um, uh, Swedish death metal uh, bands like Dark Tranquility and Soil Work especially yeah. would become the Gods of Metal could that lie in a Gods of Metal festival in Italy which was played a couple of times in the afternoon uh, there was a really a, a great feeling about that and your two bands uh, I mean uh, Dark Tranquility and Soil Work are still doing great but the whole scene seems to have disappeared in a way what do you think happened? you don't really here talk about all oh, the great Swedish death metal scene anymore. There's two free bands doing very well yeah. and then there's not the same, at least from here in Italy, maybe no. you living there you feel something totally different. So I guess part of it has kind of like not died down but at least it's not that interesting to talk about anymore because it's been done yeah. so many times. Everybody has done like all the the story in the magazine, whatever, about the, the, yes. the Gothenburg scene, whatever, it's Swedish metal. Um, I think there's so much more to it now, you know? There was a time when perhaps that's all you can see, like all the metal bands, but now, like all the new bands are struggling so hard to kind of reach out of that and not just be like a Swedish or Gothenburg death metal mm -hmm. band or a Stockholm band or whatever. They want to kind of be more than that and they have achieved that and now perhaps you don't even think of some of those bands as just being like part of the scene or part mm -hmm. of a movement or whatever and perhaps that is it like, but for me I still have to talk about it all the time you know so for me it doesn't hasn't yeah, changed that okay. much like there's still well you're still the leaders that of that so of course you need to, it, to talk it about comes it up in every single interview for sure yeah, well, that's more or less the same, exactly the same thing that Soilwork said, you know, yeah. that the scene has not much faded, but everyone is playing something different now, so it's, yeah. everyone has more, maybe, creativity, they're not trying to copy yeah, well, you or, I, or the yeah. such. And I think the, 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 the thing that we decided early on was that we wanted to be different, you know, we wanted our music to be totally different from anything else that we have heard, you know, mm -hmm. we wanted to have <coughs> this ingredient from that, those kind of bands, or and that ingredient from those kind of bands, and we want to mix that into something that is fresh and new. Like, and originality is always kind of like the the, the, the thing that we strive for and, and try to achieve. And um, and that, if, if if it's anything that I want other bands or young bands to kind of adapt, it's that. Like that mentality mm -hmm. is what you need, not yeah. just hey, I like this band and they are doing well and they're fine. Just just copy that and move forward. Alright. That will never work in the long run. Alright, and one more question about Construct, the title and the song themes. Uh, I see there's uh, you are really fascinated with the constructs and you know when I interviewed you for chapter and then for fiction, you are you seem always to be more and more involved with the uh, human uh, personality in a way, the way we build our character and then yeah. it turns into fiction sometimes yeah. and then there's this, is there a, a construct which is something as fake as fiction I would say? Yeah, but is that something you keep finding? So even, like, like, fiction is creative mm -hmm. like, and I think a construct is it's not creative, it's, it's self-defense in a way, like, okay. it, it builds that barrier and it fills in the gaps of mm -hmm. the where where your mind kind of process things, then you come up with something else, mm -hmm. you know. And, or if you you find like something so overwhelming and so kind of like your mind cannot grasp it, then then I'll come up with something easier. I like, believe in that instead. Yeah. And that's I mean that's basic human nature, and that's how we're all wired. But it doesn't mean it's right, you know. Um, and it makes people do really horrible things. 
in the name of the thing that they mm. believe in. But they All right. Uh, and that it just scares me. Like, and I, I think with with every year, I become more and more skeptical about things, and and I become more critical. And I, I always question everything now. I, I go like, what's the motivation behind things? Like, what's the motivation behind okay. a news item, news article? Mm -hmm. What's the motivation? Like, what is or what are you really telling me? And why are you telling me in this fashion? Like, I want pure facts. I want scientific method applied to everything, and I don't, I don't, I don't like the the agendas or the and the bias and the the kind of outside influence that goes into so much things. Uh, it's, oh, it's frustrating. It's fucking. It. That's how it starts for me. Like when I start writing lyrics, I, I get worked up, and that yeah. anger kind of sharpens me a little bit. So I start writing. Well, at least you you take that anger and you create interesting lyrics uh, rather than you know just writing about you are getting angry and fuck humanity and no, 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 they no. all suck and, and the things like that you it's not to... about I mean I'm not critiquing anyone it's just it's, I, I see this in myself and it makes me angry you know okay. and I see it in others and make me even angrier and then um, then of course uh, yeah. it, it, uh, anyway it just it charges you up like it, it makes you want to scream, and that's that's what I'm always looking for. Okay. You know, because just that's what I do. Like I, I want something that motivates mm -hmm. that kind of behavior, or that kind of you know, sound, or whatever. And the music really inspires me to do this as well. Mm -hmm. So whenever we have a song that's finished, I, I start getting into it, and it's like and that ignites all kinds of ideas, you know, that I want to yeah. scream about. It. I see. Well, that's an interesting and novel way, in a way. You know, there's a, too many bands say writing just hate lyrics and living at that, which is a bit shallow, you know, rather than That's reflecting as you me, do. But I, I want it to be, I hope, I hope they, it's just something different, you know. Yeah. Something different. I just want to do the opposite of what everyone else all the time. Yeah.